lengths would you go to to achieve your dream? A Minot State athlete says he held nothing back to get to where he's at today, including a drastic weight loss to get back on the baseball diamond. I'm really thankful for the opportunity that I was given. and. I love it out here. 24 year old Craig Schmick is a pitcher for the Minot State baseball team, but it wasn't an easy journey to get here. Out of high school, the California native weighed around 365 pounds. He played at a junior college, but quit after four weeks because of his athletic shape. He tried out at another school, but was cut because of his weight. Being on a team was awesome. And so I was like, okay, I need to play baseball again. So I decided that the only way I could do that is if I lost weight. For five months, Schmick followed a strict diet. 97 pounds later, he started working out and lost another 23. After losing 150 pounds, he was able to play baseball again. Everybody was super supportive. They're like, like when they first found out that I was trying to lose weight, they wanted to know why I was losing it. And I told them it was for to play baseball again. And no one was like, oh, you're way too old. You shouldn't do this. None of them were like that. The pandemic interrupted his plans until a call from MSU came last November. We needed somebody who was going to be able to fill up the zone for us, and, and Craig was somebody who had shown that he had been able to do that a lot for uh, for the junior college he was out in California pitching for. He knows what he's talking about. Great pitching coach. Uh, it's helped me develop an extra pitch that I needed. It was a, it was a pretty no-brainer of, of who he is as a kid and what he, what he could bring to our team just on the mound and just in the dugout. Coach Ewell, uh, he's awesome to play for. Uh, he's very passionate about baseball, and it really makes it easy to come to the baseball field every day when you know that your coach just truly loves the game. The coaches learned about his weight loss journey during the recruiting process. We knew right then that he was going to be the hardworking kid that we wanted and, and that he wanted to play baseball. Baseball has got to be a passion for you. And, and uh, right then we, we knew that that was going to, that kind of sold us on, on the passion of, he had for baseball. With how old Craig is, um, it actually brings a, a wealth of experience. Um, even though he didn't have as much maybe college pitching experience, he, he's had a lot more life experience than some of our of our right players now, and um, it allowed them to, him to come in right away and for them to look up to him it just seemed like everybody truly like brought me in like I didn't feel like an outcast when I first showed up and I was afraid that was going to happen especially not being here for the fall and it showed he had a great first season with the Beavers three two swung on and missed strike three ended up being probably our one of our best relievers towards the end of the year so um, best overall pitcher so he he had a really good year my bi biggest thing is being the best team guy I possibly can if that's not pitching on the field then I'm just gonna be as loud as I possibly can in the dugout cheering my guys on after MSU season ended Craig's was just getting started he was asked by a Legion coach to coach one of Minot's Legion teams which he says is a passion after coaching teams in California while trying to lose weight he's a very competitive coach and he always wants to win and he wants to see the best like come out of all of us he uh, really is into like working hard being persistent staying focused and I really like that and it, it really keeps us on our toes he's tough on us but at the same time he's relaxed I guess but I like it he says a lot about uh, forgetting your mistakes um, and even if you make a mistake that's a it can be a good thing It'd just be better next time because uh, you aren't going to you're going to fail sometimes it's baseball a game of failure and so you can't be down on yourself for making a mistake he's just a great guy to be around he's a good influence on all of us and he just wants everybody to succeed in mine on he's using the lessons and skills he's learned on the diamond and translating them to coaching we have a great group of kids they work really hard um, but we just have a have a tendency to lose focus uh, if they can stay focused through all seven innings of a game, they're a pretty tough team to beat. It is a pitch-by-pitch um, a pitch thing and not just, you know, life or death with every pitch. And um, so he did two. he did uh, learn from that as well. And I think one he's got a good good experience with that to bring to to the Minot, Minot well, Legion team. He's a perfect fit for, for this university, for this city. And um, again, for, for baseball in Minot, especially for these young kids, I think he's about as good of influence as we can, we can have here. I'm just taking baseball as far as it's going to take me. And if that's just to the end of the line here at Minot State, then that's what it does. And um, I would be completely fine with that. Schmick says he has all three years of eligibility left. He plans on staying to finish his degree in physical education so he can coach junior college baseball.